everybody. So, I promised you all a Chiron game, and a Chiron game you will get. Now, I know some people have been pointing out that the, the videos have been blurry. Hopefully, it's fixed. Yes, no, maybe so. I realized that for my settings, I had it scaled to 1280 by 720 for some reason. And I changed it to be 1920 by 1080, and hopefully that fixes a lot of the issues I was having. In terms of blurriness, anyways. But, I'm going to talk about a couple things in this video. And one thing is that, oh my god, the Kuzumbo skin looks so good. The Mafia Kuzumbo. If you guys haven't seen it, it's it's as good as you imagine. They gave Kuzumbo a gun, first of all. Show on plat 5. Well, on plat 2. <laughs> Dude, I, this has been my worst split ever. My YouTube games have been getting better, but my stream games have been getting worse. So, like, on average, I've been losing a ton. That's okay. Uh, let's go against Set. I like Shell. Upgraded Shell against Set is pretty nice. Uh, because it just takes two of his base attacks in his ult, which means he can't spawn Bonds of Set. Another good one is Aegis. So, when you have all those Bonds of Set and you Aegis the big, the big damage when he shoots all of them at you, all of those Bonds of Set with the Skewer, you can just Aegis it and it's really nice. Yeah, the Mafia's Guzmo skin looks great. I gotta make a video on it. And then uh, the other skins look amazing. Good Yorm skin, good Danto skin, good Nox skin. It's really cool. Um, in this matchup, I'm actually gonna max my one. Uh, I usually max my two. I play Chiron a little differently than most people do. But uh, the reason I max my one in this matchup is we're against a melee god, and it's easier to hit my one on melee gods than it is on range gods. Or I feel like, anyways. Because if he's right next to me, right? I might level my abilities evenly too, I'm not sure. Just because uh, the two is such good poke. You just auto attack them and then you use your two. Of course, if you don't hit use your, don't hit your auto attack, you still gotta use your two for the wave. So that's what happened to me there. I didn't hit my auto attack, so still use it for the wave. Yeah, but Chiron is like, I don't know why he's so fun to me. He's like one of my favorite hunters. I always go ability based on him. 99.9% uh, .9 of the time. You know, attack is busting into transcendence. Gives him tons of damage, tons of sustain. I just love his abilities hitting for a million, you know? I kind of messed up the wave. It's a little spread out here, which is okay. It's okay. If mana potions, we'll be fine. Try and get those last hits. Last hits aren't that important in Smite, but I mean, it's, it gives you a little bonus gold, you know? Like in Dota or other, other games, last hits are like everything. You get so much more gold. You can actually deny last hits in Dota. You can, like, kill your own minions to uh, keep your opponent from getting them. It's crazy. But in, in Smite, it's not, uh, not as important. And the main reason for that is that you can't shoot shoot over minions. You can't be like, oh, that one at the end is low, and shoot over the rest to kill it. So it's a, it's mainly a balance reason. But it's, it's just kind of cool in other games. And it's still cool that Smite can still use last hits to give you more gold. Okay, got red buff. I can stay... Um, I will pop one health potion, not one mana, because I feel like I'm only going to be staying for this wave. But I feel like I'll be fine. A lot of times I don't pop my potions is because I'm backing anyways, so I don't see the need to. Like there, I probably didn't need to pop that health potion, but it was just in case he did try to all in me. I had the health just in case. Whereas with the mana, I just needed enough mana to use my dash. I would have been fine. He is going Blackthorn. Every single set goes Blackthorn. I've ran into two sets that have not. Every other set does. Blackthorn. It's like, Blackthorn's a good item, but it is a very unfun item. It's really unfun to fight. It just kind of makes it, it just absorbs so much damage. And you still have a ton of damage because it gives 35 power. My biggest problem with Blackthorn, though, is that it's, it's really cheap. Like, extraordinarily cheap. I have no idea why it's so cheap. Gives so many, so much good space stats. It gives infinite mana for the passive, pretty much. It's crazy. So I hit him and then use her too. Oh, never mind. Never mind. He's gonna back up like that. Pop. Okay. Okay, we need run. Use our shell. Oh. Oh, he's gonna ult. No. Actually, with how low he was. Mm, I don't know if I was gonna. My plan was to use shell, get into tower, and then ult right before he killed me. But he had so much movement speed from his ultimate. Of course, uh, Blackthorn came online. 
Mm, I th my ultimate probably would have killed him. I don't know. I didn't have transcendence yet, so I wouldn't have had as much damage. But I did have that black thorn. I was just I was pushed a little bit too far, and I waited too long on the shell as well, and obviously didn't get the alt off. I just don't know if I got the alt off if I would have been able to kill him or not. Probably would have been close. I would have had to hit all three shots. So now he's going to have tier 1 or tier 2 boots. And let's see, yeah, tier 2 boots. And I don't have boots, so I'll need to stay a little bit farther back. Which, you know, is not my playstyle. I, I hate playing back. It is a lot. That's okay. Good thing we got our blue buff, because now he can't steal it. Very important to not let your opponent steal, you know, all the buffs. Also, I'll talk about Chiron passive. Chiron passive's okay. Um, it gives him a decent amount of healing. But it's like, it's not something you should rely on. Like, you can't be like, oh, I have my Chiron passive, I'll be fine for healing. Like, you can't just only rely on it. Oh, I thought I hit him. I did not. Back up so he can't skewer me. Okay, nice. Make sure to get the last hits on this for my Transcendence. Not losing any gold to tower right now. Good. I'm pretty far down, though. Might clear one more wave and then back just so I can have be a little bit more on his level with boots. I'm scared that his ultimate's coming up soon. I missed my one again. If, if he comes near me, I can chuck him into tower, but of course, if he doesn't get low enough and I ult, it doesn't matter if I can't kill him, you know? Yeah, he has to actually looking pretty low here. No, can't really. It's too much mobility right now. <gasps> no! <laughs> Dang it. I ulted and he popped the shell. That was my that was my mistake. I did not out with the shell. I was just like, okay, I have him. And even if I hit that last shot, I don't think it would have killed him. Dang, I ulted too early. So, last time, I did waited too long about This time, I ulted too early. My mistake. Needed to wait on that shell. We're only one level behind, though. This isn't that bad, as long as I, I make sure to have my buffs, right? As long as I don't give up my blue buff. And as long as I'm at least taking something. Like, right now, he's going for red, so I'm going to take minis. Just to kind of minimize that loss, you know? I also have boots now, so I don't have to worry as much. Now, I like going a lot of power and pen on Chiron. And just just uh, having the attack speed coming naturally with the build. Like execution, right? I'll use execution as my pen, which also gives me some attack speed. But it's mainly for the pen. I don't usually go lifesteal on Chiron. However, I can see a Aussie being good for the pen. Wow, he does a lot of damage. Nothing's up, no reason to stay. He's actually going to stop my back, so I'm going to run all the way back here. There's no buffs up. There's no reason to stay except to try and keep the wave from going in, but I'm going to die if I stay. Now, I could go Breastplate to have my cooldowns faster, which since I'm going ability base, that's good. I could go Nemean. However, he's getting physical defense because it's physical versus physical. And Nemean does physical damage. So he's still going to mitigate a lot of Nemean's damage. It's only five more defense. So I'm not sure if I'll do that. And I also could go Contagion to for anti-heal for his ultimate. Um, I'm pretty sure I will get anti-heal in my build. I'm not sure between Brawlers or Toxic. I'm thinking of Brawlers right now. But um, we will need anti-heal. I just don't think Contagion is going to be enough though. I think a breastplate might be better. Breastplate mixed with brawlers to apply it as much as possible. Brawlers is easy to apply on Chiron. Like extraordinarily easy. Good, we just hit a lot of autos. The half health. Here's where Chiron passive comes in. It actually helps a little bit. Just poking a tiny bit. And you'll notice that I'm actually getting the difference between our health is quite a bit, just because I'm poking him slowly. He's poking me too, just not as much as I am. But my health's almost back to full, whereas I was down to... I think I was down to nearly half health at one point of that. I will try to keep him from backing here if I can, because I have my shell and ultimate. If I can delay him even a tiny bit.
tough. That's tough, he got too far. I am not on point with my Chiron snipes today. Usually I'm pretty decent with them. But right now I'm not. But more importantly, even though I missed my snipes, that was still a very good uh, victory. Uh oh. Okay, good. <laughs> he was able to get the, the skewer off because he wasn't close enough. But more importantly, I pushed his entire wave into tower and he lost, you know, the, the tower tagged a couple of those minions. Which isn't that big, but still. I will go Aegis, my second relic. We're not upgrading Shell yet. I still need my more money. Uh, he has 30% cooldown right now with Blackthorn. Man, I hate Blackthorn a ton. Um, I'm really excited. I don't know if you guys saw the Heartseeker changes. I'm excited and scared. Because the Heartseeker, if you don't know, uh, the, the, the patch notes, it's not in game right now, but the patch notes show that Heartseeker is getting changed. It's going to have 75 power, 10 pen, and some other like manas or something like that for the base stats, right? So that's a lot of power and 10 pen. So that's kind of crazy. And the new passive is a physical soul reaver. So pretty much your, uh, your abilities will deal 3%, I believe it was, of your target's maximum health. And that sounds very strong to me. However, I'm kind of happy for it because now it kind of gives some incentive to not build Blackthorn. Like in this situation, if I there was a new Heartseeker in the game, for me not going Heartseeker, I could go. I'm mean, for me not going Blackthorn. Excuse me, and him going Blackthorn, I could go the new Heartseeker and punish his Blackthorn, and he couldn't do the same thing because I didn't go Blackthorn. You know, so it just kind of makes me happy. So I think Blackthorn's kind of unfun to fight right now. I need to run big time. Oh my god, I, I was going to explain this earlier, and this mechanic sucks as Chiron. For those that don't know, Chiron's ult, when you kill someone, you get you get to live, right? You, you, you heal for the amount of damage you dealt at the end of the ultimate, yes? Now, what sucks is if you don't get the kill, for example, tower kills it, even though it, on my screen it says, hey, I got the kill. The tower was the one that finished set off, so... I didn't get the kill, therefore I died. And I hate that about Chiron and Duel. Because, like, right there, it's like, if I did it earlier, he would have had too much health. If I did it later, he was going to die anyways. Or he would have been too... He would have, like, gotten out of range and just would have been bad. So it's just kind of finding that in between. It just sucks. I could have shot those shots better, but it's just really unfortunate. Yeah, his Executioner, interesting. Did go for the Breastplate, by the way. I do think the abilities are... Having my abilities more often is better. Now, we do need anti-heal. It is a must. And he got a uh, horrific. Which, you know, if I'm caught out, could be very useful. But I could also cleanse horrific with my one. That's his ultimate. This could be good for me. Nice. Yeah, so for those, um, I keep saying for those that don't know, I know a lot of you know, but uh, I, I like I do like to mention things for those people that don't play Chiron, but uh, Chiron's one gives CC immunity, I'll, I'll show it here, it's kind of like just a little cleanse, it's very short, um, just like that, you know, If and you can use it on teammates too, so if all five people are grouped together, and let's say an enemy Ares is ulting you, you all group next to Chiron, Chiron uses one, you don't have to waste speeds. It's actually really good, but, uh, you know, it requires team coordination, which is hard if you're not in comms. So, yeah, you, it's pretty useful. And then, of course, you know, I can cleanse it slow. Can't cleanse the attack speed slow, or attack speed reduction from Horrific, but still good. Trying to get to the fun parts of Chiron. That's where the fun begins. To poke you. Let me, please. I'll just take this. Teleported behind me. Interesting. I wonder how a Soul Eater would be on Chiron. I've never tried it, but just... I feel like you'd be healing a lot with it. Okay, now we just run. I have Shell and Aegis. I should be fine. Don't want to engage while he has his ult. Oh, he is going to get red buff. That's fine. I'll go for my blue. Right now, we're pretty even. I'm a little bit ahead because I took his tower, but once he takes my tower, I think he will he will be ahead, so that's okay. 
I just don't want to fight him while he has that alt up. It lasts for a very long time. Okay, good. We'll go back. Right now, my ultimate hits very hard. Look, like, I think a little bit over a thousand damage right now. I think so. Okay, we're close. Let's get that brawlers. Let's just sell this. Alright, let's go. We're doing pretty well considering he does have Blackthorn. Now, if you don't care about the whole if the whole uh like for me, right, I don't like building Blackthorn because I think it's super unfun. Uh especially when it's Blackthorn versus Blackthorn, because it's just nothing's happening the entire game. If you don't care about that, I do think Blackthorn could be very good on Chiron. I've never tried it, but I feel like he would be very tanky, have a lot of cooldown, and he could just spam abilities all day long without worrying. You know? I feel like that has a that's very potent. To some extent at least. Okay, I cleanse that slow. See how I was just able to cleanse that slow from his his horrific as well as his other stuff? Nice. That cleanse came in clutch. It cleansed his horrific as well as his skewer. The, the slows, I mean. And if I didn't do that, I would have had to burn both my relics and probably all. And I thought I was going to have to ult either way, but then he decided not to dive, which was smart, but uh, it was it was already too late. Let's see, 10 seconds. I should be able to take Phoenix. Oh, it did not mean to go into Phoenix range. Oh, that's bad. Now I can't clear the wave because I missed. Okay. It's, this is fine. This might not be fine. Maybe, maybe he'll chase super, super far. We can bait him. Right? Right? The gr As a friend of mine used to say, the greatest weapon in Smite is someone at low health. It's the greatest weapon. Let's see, like, let's see if I back here. He's not going going for it. I think he's going for building. Get some wards. Um, last item. Maybe Void Shield, actually. Sounds kind of dumb, but gives us power, defense, and pen. I think it could be good here. All these fights are relatively close to me as well. And Executioner applies before Void, void Shield, so it'll be, uh... It'll be 36% of his protections gone, and then the extra 20 after that. Which is really good, you know? my ult in case he tries to get out. Nice. I don't, I don't want to use my ult until I had to, but very good game. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, you know, just, just leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of this Chiron game. And yeah, just also tell me what you guys think about the Kuzumbo skin. And if you want a Kuzumbo video with the Mafia skin, like an actual full-blown edited video, not a full gameplay. Or maybe both. I don't know. Yeah, both. Why not? Because, man, that skin looks so fun, especially the Ultimate. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Uh, yeah, just have a good day, everybody. Thanks for watching. And I just want to say a huge thank you to my Patreons. I want to shout out Zach the Guy and the Son of the Muffin Man for being some of my top tier Patreons. Really appreciate it. It means a lot to me and lets me keep doing what I'm doing. Thank you guys so much.